My name is Garrett Freiman Wire, and I have written a new young adult novel called After the Moment. It is out in May. I tell people that this is my book about boys, violence, and love, and it, it is exactly that. It's a, a story of Lee Hunter, who runs into the great love of his life from high school at a dinner party four years after they've been parted, and he spends the two and a half hours at the dinner party, which is in this huge apartment in New York City, um, remembering what it was like to love her and to fail her, and about the particular kind of violence that entered their lives and separated them. I was interested in writing about a boy because I have um, friends who are the mothers of teenage boys and they, each of them, there's three of them, very close female friends of mine, and they told me that when 9-11 happened, they each went into the bathroom and just cried big tears because they were so sure that a draft was coming and their sons would go to war. And I thought of that story of these, these women crying in bathrooms and these boys who, who wound up not going. And masculinity and uh, becoming a man is so wrapped up in acts of courage and honor um, and bravery that I wondered what it must be like to be a young man coming into his own and living in a country that is in fact at war and to not be going. That be strange, troubling, exhilarating. I wasn't sure, and thus Lee came to me, knocking at the door, um, wanting his own book. And he had some very definite ideas. He did not want to live in New York. I don't want to walk around New York City having interesting thoughts. This was sort of mean of him. I've written other books where there are young female protagonists, and they do walk around New York City having interesting thoughts. I had a conversation with a woman who became my editor, and we were talking. I guess in a snarky way, but we thought we were being smart, about violence and how violence, particularly violence against young women, is depicted in young adult novels. It's always presented in very stark terms. You know, there's a good person and a bad person, and the person who is the victim is um, always leaves the story healed and whole and better for the experience in a way. And I think that I just don't think that's what real life is like, and I don't think that young female readers experience life that way. And so I wondered what it would be like to write a novel that had young protagonists that explored love, not just love, but violence in a realistic, um, complicated way. Lee definitely did not come to me asking to fall in love, but I've always loved romance stories. I read romance novels for fun, and I was interested in how love is portrayed as either a saccharine sweet cure-all or as um, something that, that young people aren't ready for. And I, I actually think that we are all ready for every emotion at every stage of our lives. Um, I wanted to investigate what it was like when you encountered your ability to fail love at a very young age. Um, love makes such demands of us and it's hard enough to, to meet the demands of every day when you're struggling to get through the day as a young person, let alone the demands of love. And so the three kind of came together. The boy who didn't go to war, um, a love affair that is uh, a failure on, on all parts, and violence. Um, violence explored realistically and in a way that fits what actually goes on in our society.